Is it really difficult to close a cabinet door around here? Why are there sodas open everywhere? And warm. Why does my dog think this is a party? That pile of laundry has been sitting there since before quarantine. Let me find, let me find one more empty box in the pantry. Just empty. Not been handled, not been recycled. Sitting there empty. Let me find one more of those. Things are going great. Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing great and finding new routines that make you happy. Today we're gonna do our standard Dollar Tree haul. However, I'm about to insert a little disclaimer that I'm just gonna like grab this and put it into like my other Dollar Tree hauls until we kind of get out of this situation. But let's go. I get that people think that there are things that are non-essentials and I completely agree with that. However, I still have to go to the grocery store. I'm checking out Walmart and the Dollar Tree because I am still needing essentials that I cannot find in my area. And even then, I'm not going out to these stores that often at all. I barely leave my house. When I do, I'm completely safe. And when I go to the grocery store or Walmart or Dollar Tree to find these essential items that I need that are not there, the shelves are bare, but I have to, you know, keep checking. Um, I still am going to walk out of the store, maybe grabbing something else while I'm there. It's the same concept as maybe walking into Walgreens to get something that you need, but then maybe you're going to check out and grab, you know, I don't know, um, a plush teddy bear or a Reese's Pieces or or a mascara and the same kind of concept if you were to walk into Walmart to maybe get some groceries and then you might visit the little toy aisle and get something here and get something there um, so that's pretty much pretty much it so if I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree to find paper towels or toilet paper or cleaning supply products that I need that I'm not finding anywhere else I'm still gonna go and see what else they have going on and that's the end of the disclaimer like I said, I'm going to grab that footage and just kind of insert it into the future Dollar Tree hauls until, you know, things just kind of resume back to normal. I, I talked about this on my Instagram live, you know, um, talking about the situation is, is about as sensitive as talking about politics. And so I'm not going to dive any further into it. So um, that's all that's all we're gonna we're gonna say so let's go ahead and dive into what I'm gonna share with you so I think that this video is probably gonna go up the day of Easter and if it does happy Easter to everyone um, let me know what you guys are doing um, and I have to say that I just simply was not prepared this year at all um, I don't have a basket for my daughter at all this year I've made mold I've always had a basket for her this is the first year I've had none um, I will link other videos down below just in case you want to see what I've gotten her in the previous years but she is 19 and she does understand and actually we talked about it because we've been refurnishing her entire room and so I just said I was like you know what like like this is this is good because we've literally redone everything in here um, and she's you know, she's completely fine with it. She just does not, she actually doesn't ever really want for anything, you know. So, yeah. But, unfortunately, no, no actual, like, Easter basket. But, I did find this Easter grass, and I've never shown this to you guys. I really like all the fun colors. And I think it's interesting that that green has, like, a pop of neon. I thought that was really interesting. But, it also has, like, a springtime look. And springtime will still, you know, continue after Easter. So I thought that maybe I could like do something with this. I don't, I don't know quite yet. And I got some more peeps. I actually, the first peeps that I showed you guys, I think was like a birthday cake edition. But then I got the classic with the yellow. They're so cute. And the purple, like, can you do Easter without grabbing yourself, you know, at least one adorable little peep? I don't know something about them I mean my teeth hurt just looking at them but the packaging the little chicks they're adorable adorable my niece 
you guys already know like the moment I start talking about her a huge smile erupts on my face she is darling and I have been having the time of my life the older that she gets the more that she's talking I'm having the time of my life getting her little toys from the Dollar Tree wait until you see the destructive hurricane tornado situation that's in my craft room I'm gonna do like hopefully a very satisfying clean with me and I'm gonna actually put it on this main channel you it will take your breath away on how bad this craft room looks but anyway the point is toys are everywhere I have boxes everywhere I haven't unpacked because I don't have any furniture up there to unpack my craft stuff into yet um, but she has been loving all of the little Dollar Tree things she's obsessed with all the books I get her the point is it's just it's just proven successful how Dollar toys, you know, they're they're just as great as walking into Walmart or Target and buying like one single $17 toy. So one of the things that she really loves are the little fairy garden sets and I found some more and they have little gnomes and I thought it was really cute. I know that um, gnomes are like really popular and I thought they were super adorable. Here are those. <clears throat> I'm gonna clear my throat today just so you can see the difference there. And then, oh my gosh, look at the little forest friends. So freaking cute. And then the little seating. I actually had a fifth package, but she she dug into it when she was here the other day. She dug into it and, come, and opened it and, and ran off with it. And I was just like, well, I mean, it is for you. So, so that did happen. Um, oh, also I got her two toys uh that had like little puppies in it like little plastic puppy toys and but she opened those as well and i meant to grab like footage of it but maybe next time i go to dollar tree i'll take a picture so that you guys can kind of see she's obsessed with it it comes with a little water bowl oh my gosh she girl she had the time of her life <clears throat> okay we are grabbing at random today also sorry about the lighting but the sun is kind of like going in and out today so that's why it just keeps adjusting. I found some more luggage tags and I don't know why I keep buying these because, um, well one, you know, there's no travel, but two, I'm, yeah, that's a whole thing. But, uh, some, for some reason, I think these luggage tags are adorable. And this one, this one right here, you guys, this one is a must find. I think this one is just amazing. And this one's, you know, just plain. They also had, like, a plain black one that was really chic. So if you don't want anything, like, you know, like this, uh, you just want something really plain, they have a black one and it's everything. I, you know what? Here's, here's the deal. <clears throat> I didn't grab it because it was so far back and I was too lazy to pull all of the ones in front of it out to grab it. That's why you're not seeing the black one. And I can't tell you how many times that actually happens when I'm shopping at Dollar Tree. I'm just like, no, I'm not today. Not today, people. Um, okay, these are brand new. I've never seen these before. And they are, they've done wooden picks, but I've never seen them do it like this. What? Look at that, the little metal detail. I mean, I'm sure it's not metal, it's plastic. But I really wish they had these the time that I did my daughter. Was she turning 17? I don't know what, what age she was turning. I think there's a video on it where I did a silver and gold party. That was her theme that year. And I really wish that I these would have been there at the time because I made like little finger foods and snacks and things. And these just would have been so perfect for that. So missed out on that. Okay, I grabbed another satin pillowcase cover. I recently did a review of this on my Instagram channel, and that's where I do all of my Dollar Tree reviews for you guys. So if you're just interested in knowing like what I think about the products that I buy and show you, you'll find that over there. So if you miss it during the 24 hours that my Instagram story rolls, there's a highlight on my Instagram page, and it says DT Reviews, it's a little circle, you just click on it, and it will run through all of the reviews I've done. And I recently did a review on this, go check it out, go see what rating I gave it, one out of five stars, and I went and got another one. Obviously that probably tips you off on, on what I rated it, but um, 
I'm telling you, I used to have wrinkles right here, crow's feet, and they are gone the moment I switched from cotton to this. This is a dollar. A dollar. I don't know why, but I'm kind of liking that I'm showing you guys things in a very random way today. Okay, these are flower pot huggers, and I've actually hauled them before. Now you know, I tend to have kind of a bad memory. <laughs> But I did, have not forgotten when I first hauled these the first time, and it was years ago, and found some more. The only thing is I don't remember if these two are the same. I don't think that I had a gnome the first time. But just so they can see, they are just that, a pot hugger. They're just like a little charm decoration that you can put onto the side of your pot. And how freaking cute is that? Like he's climbing up the pot. That's exactly what they're all doing. Like it's like a little ladder effect. And then I found the owl. And the quality, and it's it's really nice. Like this is super impressive stuff, you guys, for $1. Look at that detail. The sunflower and the... That blows me away. And I feel like now is the time to, you know, kind of garden and and work on your home and these would just be so stinking cute for that okay next up are some new elastic hair accessories that have the cutest little like 90s early 2000s vibe but you were also trying to be kind of 80s i don't know what i'm saying but look at the cute little pom-pom. I don't know why they would put tags like this. I mean, I think obviously legally they probably have to put tags, but that's just whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying today. But hot pink, a mustardy yellow. This yellow color is gorgeous. And then the green. I mean, how stinking cute. I'm going to do a video with these on. So if you want to see what that's going to look like and what I'm going to do, subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss me embarrass myself. The other day, my daughter was talking about how she had this elastic band around her wrist and she ha she's, has a very colorful wrist going on. She has bracelets and little things that she has made. Um, she wears it just, uh, she has been wearing those since I want to say like junior year. She never takes them off. And one of the things that she was wearing around her wrist was an elastic band like this that I had given to her from Dollar Tree. And she made a comment saying that her elastic had just kind of like lost its, you know, uh, elasticity. And I was like, you know, I got that from Dollar Tree, right? And she was like, oh, interesting. So I had that in mind when I was there the last time and found some more. Yeah, these are pretty trendy from what I understand. And look at these wonderful, beautiful, like mature colors. You know, I think these are really great. I don't know if she's gonna like any of these, but um, these, this, I don't know what just happened. I really don't. My voice is cracking, I'm clearing my throat. I'm getting a text message. I'm glazing over. Um, this next item, um, I've actually hauled before. It's so impressive. I got to share it with you again, but they are the letter boards and I feel like did I haul them in both the black and gray because I feel like I don't think I got the black or I didn't get the gray. I'm not sure which one is which, but I decided to pick them up again because I thought that these would be cute in my media room and maybe like put the movie that we're watching or something and I decided to go with two but I may go back and do all black and maybe pick up like three more black and then do squares of four <coughs> and I thought I think that would be really cute and it would look really farmhouse and I love the gray and the black for that farmhouse feel I'm doing like a modern uh, take of that upstairs so Hopefully you'll be seeing like those decorate with me videos in the next couple of weeks I'm still basically working on it, but that's why I got these but I'm thinking now out loud Like I said, I I think I'm gonna go with black and then go grab a couple more and maybe do like a wall collage of those That would be cute, right? I also got some sheet protectors and dividers listen 
in my craft room, I more than likely already have these in my stockpile because really I don't even probably need to go to a, an actual physical Dollar Tree store. I could probably just go into my craft room and shop there. Um, but I'm going to be doing some organization stuff and binders and I'm trying to remember the videos that I've been asking you guys if you want and asking you to thumbs up and um, so I'm trying to get better about that and I think I mentioned doing like a binder organization of manuals and recipes and things like that so that's why I got these to kind of get started on that concept okay then here are the um, more essential items that I got while I was there I finally found some hand soap and even though I ended up finding some um, Amazon actually Okay, okay, it's it's a whole thing to talk about hand soap. I'm not going to talk about hand soap actually. But when I went back to Dollar Tree, there was finally some hand soap available. So I went ahead and just picked up one. Didn't want to take any more. And then I got some Fabuloso. Remember when I used to haul these a lot? It was so fun. I got the fresh lemon scent. So I got that. And then I got some regular dial soap. I got this kind and then the basics. Of this one so this one says hypoallergenic dermatologist tested so that's pretty amazing being sold at Dollar Tree and then the white one is a clean rinsing non-drying deodorant soap antibacterial so that's why I got those and then the last two things are organization bins because I need to I need to unpack my craft room I need to get the things out of the cardboard boxes so that I can get the cardboard boxes recycled and get them out of the upstairs. But I don't have furniture. So what I decided what I could do in the meantime is get these containers and I can start just kind of organizing like my craft stuff into here. So I went with a dish pan. Don't care that it's a dish pan. I just needed something that was pretty big um, or the biggest that was kind of available there. I also probably should have gotten some laundry baskets. That would have been a really good way to like throw things into it in the craft room and get it at least into a container, into a holding place while I figure out what furniture I'm gonna do. And I also picked up red. I mean, really no particular reason for this color other than I thought, well, might as well go with a color that I use for holidays just in case I use it for something else. So that's why I chose red. But really I got this for that space so that I could organize in here. And just so you can see the difference. This one's pretty much almost similar in depth, but this one's a lot wider. So I got a bunch of these, I think like six of each. And don't worry, that, that craft room clean up video is coming because it's just your mouth will drop when you see the state that it's in really um i fully expect to find some cotton eyed joes up there and you some of you know what i'm talking about so anyways that's it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed sitting down hanging out with me comment down below let me know how you watched this video i'm just curious did you do you have like a ritual when you watch YouTube or when you watch a certain YouTuber? Did you get yourself a coffee, a tea, a soda, snacks? Like what do you guys do? Um, I, when I'm about to watch my favorite YouTubers, it's like a treat for me. Like I have to go all out to do it. And um, yeah, so anyway, I don't know. I'm just curious. Uh, comment that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, for being so supportive of my channel and being here on this journey with me. I hope you all stay safe and healthy, and I will see you in the next video.